أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ورتل القرآن ترتيلا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته اوكي ان شاء الله تعالى ان ذيس ليسون وي ار جوينغ تو كفر اولسو بانكتشن ماركس بارت 4 العامات الوقف اند وي هاف كفر ديفرنت سيمبلز اند ساينز ان ذا بريفيس ليسونز اوكي اند ذيس تايم ذيس ان نيو وقف غفران اند ذيس از اولسو انديكيتد اون ذا مارجن And this is one example in Surah As Sajda, chapter 32, verse 19. There are about uh, 10 examples or 10 uh, places where the waqf gufran has been indicated. What, what, what is the meaning? Gufran means to seek forgiveness. You know, uh, gufran basically uh, is indicated at that time when the meaning is quite, when you reflect on the meanings. It is well uh, observed and uh, understood. And a person likes to seek forgiveness of Allah the Almighty and offer prayers, supplications. And this is one example, as I mentioned, Surah Sajda, chapter 32, verse 19. Waqf Ufran. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. Afaman kana mu'minan kaman kana fasiqa. And then there is a stop. Waqf Ufran. And uh, You, we can offer supplications, seeking forgiveness of Allah the Almighty, and then you continue, la yastaboon. Start with ta'avuz and make a recitation of that. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. أَفَمَنْ كَانَ مُؤْمِنًا كَمَنْ كَانَ فَاسِقًا لَا يَسْتَعُونَ This is the sunnah of the Holy Prophet ﷺ to make supplications on different verses of the Holy Quran. If this is a verse showing the mercy and the bounty of Allah the Almighty, he used to supplicate and offer the prayer to, uh, to have that one, the bounty and blessings of Allah the Almighty. And when there is a mention of uh, his punishment, he used to uh, seek forgiveness of him for his people and uh, pray for uh, and also offer prayers, okay? Uh, so, that, so that may Allah you know, uh, protect him and his people. Okay, so this is uh, his uh, style of uh, reading the Holy Quran. This is the etiquettes and the manners, adab of reading the Holy Quran. So another example is in Suratul Mulk, chapter 67, verse 20. Here you can find Waqf Nabi, Waqf Munazzal, and Waqf Ghafran together. It's a very particular and unique verse where uh, three special uh, waqf come together. Okay? أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْا إِلَى الطَّيْرِ فَوْقَهُمْ صَفَّاتٍ وَيَقْبِدٍ مَا يُمْسِكُهُنَّ إِلَّا الرَّحْمَانِ إِنَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ بَصِيرٌ Okay, good. مَا يُمْسِكُهُنَّ إِلَّا الرَّحْمَانِ إِنَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ بَصِيرٌ Aisa, you can recite from me. أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 
ما يمسكهن إلا الرحمن إنه بكل شيء بصير. Okay, good. Okay, there are so many signs of making a wakf, permissible stop, compulsory stop, desirable, you know. Uh, preferable to you know uh, stop but sometime preferable to continue but this sign it means do not stop at all it is necessary to continue not preferable it is essential to continue do not pause here and this is one example in uh, chapter 2 surah al-baqarah verse number 15 amanu qalu amanna and salah is there, it means you can preferable to continue. Jim is a permissible stop. You know, it's uh, up to you whether you stop or you uh, continue. And salah is on the top of that. It means that uh, it is preferable to continue. But after that, wa iza khalau ila shayatinihim, and then the kalima la, word la is there. La means not. And this is basically a, a shortened form. A abbreviation of la waqfa'ali. There is no stop, there is no pause at, at, at this place. Okay? If you make a pause, then the continuity, the beauty of uh, the, the continuity of the um, subject will be lost. Okay? Um, there should be some continuity in the meanings. You know, it's continued. So, qalu inna ma'akum, and again, you can find the same uh, stop there, la waqfa'ali. So it means that from wa iza khalau ila shayatinim up to inna ma nahnu mustazyun, you you know continue your recitation and stop on mustazyun. If you stop uh, in the middle, uh, then you have to restart uh, in a meaningful way. It doesn't mean that you can never stop. You are not fully allow, you know not uh, allowed to stop there. Yes, because of the short of breath or some uh, um, you know, certain reason because of cough or some you know, other reasons, you, you stop there. But then you have to restart meaningfully. And that's very important. Okay, start Abdul Manna. وَإِذَا لَقُوا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا قَالُوا آمَنَّا وَإِذَا قَلَوْا إِلَى شَيَاطِينِهِمْ وَإِذَا خَلَوْا إِلَى شَيَاطِينِهِمْ قَالُوا Okay, that is fine. Okay. If you stop there, okay, then sometime it is observed that the readers they just restart from one, uh, you know, starting from one previous word or two words. Now, in this case, if you say, Wa iza khalau ila shayatinihim, and they make a pause on that one, and if a reader starts from shayatinihim qalu inna maakum, that, you know, the whole, the beauty uh, and the connectivity of the, sen the sense is lost. And even from ila shayatinihim, uh, that is not a good start. It should be khalau ila shayatinihim. So that practice that only the, the one or previous two words and then you restart, that is not. Meaningful start is required. If you, if you stop on the, you know, this sign la, then a meaningful restart or uh, beginning should be uh, you know, observed. So that's why it is very important to follow uh, the symbols, the signs which, which have been uh, indicated in the text of the Holy Quran or if there is a longer verse, then uh, as you know, in a, as a preference, we should learn the split word meaning of the Holy Quran. Then we can have better understanding of the restarting meaningfully. Okay. So, uh, Isa, you try. وَإِذَا لَكُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا قَالُوا آمَنَّا 
وَإِذَا خَلَوْا إِلَى شَيَاطِينِهِمْ قَالُوا إِنَّ مَعْكُمْ إِنَّا مَعْكُمْ okay. قَالُوا إِنَّا مَعْكُمْ إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ مُسْتَهْزِئُونَ Okay, good. So, for example, if you say وَإِذَا خَلَوْا إِلَى شَيَاطِينِهِمْ قَالُوا إِنَّا مَعْكُمْ you stop there, then it is not uh, good, uh, you know, practice if you, uh, you know, continue innama nahnu mustasiyun. Where there is a la, you stop and then you have to restart. And this is good. Qalu inna ma'akum innama nahnu mustasiyun. And also there is a, sometime, uh, this is a common mistake is observed. Inna and inna. And very good um, example is in Surah Al-Kawsar. Where the first word is inna, with, you know, followed by alif, and the second inna is without alif, and there is a change of the meaning. Okay, so inshallah Allah. Another example is uh, in uh, chapter uh, 16, verse 79, Surah An-Nahl. Wallahu akhrajakum min butunikum. Quicker. وَاللَّهُ أَخْرَجَكُمْ مِنْ بُطُونِ أُمَّهَاتِكُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ شَيْئًا وَجَعَلَ لَكُمُ السَّمْعَ وَالْأَبْصَارِ وَالْأَبْصَارَ وَالْأَفْعِدَةَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ وَالْأَبْصَارَ وَالْأَفْعِدَةَ Okay, sometimes this Hamza is taken as a half ayn. So, وَالْأَفْعِدَةَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ Start from وَجَعَلَ لَكُمُ السَّمَا Up to لَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ وَجَعَلَ لَكُمُ السَّمْعَ وَالْأَبْصَارَ وَالْأَفْئِدَةَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ Okay, sometime during the text of the Holy Quran, you will find two or three uh, signs of waqf. Now, in this example, which is chapter 18, verse 28, Suratul Al-Kahf, you can find after min kitabi rabbik on ta, waqf mutalaq, and then jim, permissible stop, waqful jais. And after the kalimat la mubaddila li kalimati, qaf and jim. Now, when you find two or three uh, symbols together during the text of the Holy Quran, the upper sign should be given much preference the more preference should be given to the upper sign. Now, in both examples here, in this verse, verse 28 of chapter six, uh, 18, is jim. And jim is a waqful jais, is a permissible stop, whether you stop or to continue. So, 50-50. You have two options, it's up to you, depending upon your uh, length of breath, how you are reflecting the Holy Quran, how you are reading, in, what, in which style you are reading the Holy Quran, you know, uh, permissible stop. But on top of that, in the first example, there is a ta, which is basically waqf mutalaq, means this is a good stop, essential stop, more desirable stop. So that's why the, we, we have to follow that symbol, the ta and we will ignore the jim. So, you have two options. One option is a greater in preference, and the second op option is jim, which is lesser in preference. So, you will go for that, you know, higher preference, greater preference. So, min kitab rabbik, stop there. And la mubaddila li kalimati. And again, jim is a permissible stop, whether you stop or continue. And kaf is that, is, uh, is indication as I mentioned in the previous lessons, that here pause is observed. So the jim is telling you that permissible stop, you stop or not, you, you know, you continue. Barqaf means is a, is a good stop, of st uh, preferable stop. That here stop is observed. 
So, you have a you know that uh, indication of preference that you can uh, stop la mubaddila li kalimati. But uh, having said all that, uh, I told you um, I told you in the previous lessons that uh, because of the short of breath and uh, our limitations, human limitation, we cannot recite the uh, you know the sometime the longer verse. Okay, so that's why we have to divide the text into uh, different portions, meaningful uh, division, meaningful portions. Abdul Manan, I will ask you to start from Watlu, Maohiya, and observe the two pauses. And in the second example, you start from Watlu and continue up to Multahada. <laughs> لا مبدل لكلماته ولا تجد من دونه ملتحدا واتل ما أوحي إليك من كتاب ربك لا مبدل لكلماته ولن تجد من دونه ملتحدا. Okay, easy. You can you have completed. Okay, I told you more than one symbol. Sometime, most of the time two during the text. Sometime three. Okay, but you know the the preference to upper sign will not be observed at the end of wor verse. Now in this one, very famous, Sabbihis Marabbikal Ala. Now this is the verse number two of Suratul uh, Ala, chapter eighty-seven. Now if you prefer to the top one, which is min la, means la waqfa alay. It means you continue Sabbihis Marabbikal Ala, ladi khalaka fasawa. But it is very well known and well practiced, especially during the you know Friday service, Friday prayer, when uh, uh, Imam of the Friday prayer in different mosques and different you know uh, throughout uh, you know this is a common practice. Say uh, after Ghair al Maghdubi Alim al Dalin Bismillah Rahman Rahim Sabbihis Marabbik al Ala, and there is an echo. Of a you know sound, the 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 reply, the response from the believers who are the listeners in that service, and say Subhana Rabbi Al Ala. Sabbi Hisma Rabbi Al Ala basically prompts to respond that do this one, do this. You know I'm going to inshallah uh, Allah explain it further in the in future lessons. We say Sabbi Hisma Rabbi Al Ala, and even every male, female, young and old say Subhana Rabbi Al Ala. And by just listening to their elders, you know, children uh, memorize that one. Subhana Rabbi Al Ala. And Subhana Rabbi Al Ala, we know that this is a. Uh, these are the kalimat we also offered in in the prayer. Now, if you, uh, you know, follow the upper sign, then it means you continue. Sabihis Marabbi Al Ala Ladi Khalaka Fasawa. Okay. Some t we are allowed to continue, but in this way, in this case, uh, that one. Uh, sunnah mm, is not observed because we know that there are certain verses of the Holy Quran uh, when that is completed then the companions Sahaba uh, or the Holy Prophet وسلم, used to make a uh, you know some kalimat of uh, you know response you know as a believer as a being a, a reader or listener and we follow that uh, practice and this is very common uh, example which we have observed. Okay? So Allah Khalaka Fasawa. Now this verse, I particularly I like to quote this uh, surah, Surah Al Falak, chapter uh, 113, and next is Surah Al Nas, uh, last chapter 114. Now after Bismillah Rahman Rahim, these uh, there are five verses. Bismillah Rahman. You say Bismillah Rahman Rahim. You stop. Now Qul A'udhu bi Rabbil Falak and continue up to Hasad. That is the last one. Now. Some people they consider oh there is a law on that one, and we uh, should continue, and they uh, sometimes they do not make a proper pause. They say kul auzu birabbil falaki min sharri ma khalaka, okay, and they do not pause 
they took, you know, they take breath, but at the same time, the last letter is not mute. The, in work, the, the biggest principle is that, that last letter must be a mute, okay, or properly in a, uh, articulated. Now, if somebody is doing in a muratal style, a bit quicker style, maybe he, is, he can go, maybe the young person or you know, the, the person who has a good practice, start from qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaki up to hasad quickly. But especially when you are doing in a mujawad style, in a stressed and uh, you know, uh, uh, prolonged uh, way of recitation, uh, it is uh, you know, just a taqalluf, you know, it's a, just a, a great difficulty to maintain the length and uh, you know, the breadth from qul a'udhu bi rabbil. That's why it is good. At the end of each verse, we should make a pause. We are allowed to combine two or three verses but if you just follow that the upper sign is have more preference and la means do, do not make a waqf, that is against the nature. You know, we, we cannot do that one. Even, even if you try, I, I would ask Isa, um, first of all, you make a pause at the end of each verse, which is the, high, you know, the, the sunnah ha have to be followed, okay? Though we are allowed to combine, but if we follow that one, la, 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 you know, one, two, three, four. Four la is there. It means <laughs> if, uh, you know, this rule is misunderstood, it means you know, from start from qul and up to hasad, that is your last word. And this is, uh, you know, just uh, uh, quite uh, difficult. وَمَا أَنَا مِنَ الْمُتَكَلِّفِينَ This is the message of the Holy Quran. Start, Isa. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في لقد وَمِنْ شَرِّ حَاسِدٍ إِذَا حَسَدٍ Okay, now this uh, yes, yes al Quran style, this simple text of the Holy Quran, uh, last page where is dua is mentioned, uh, note number 13 is that, which is the last one, uh, 13, that where are the two signs, two alamat are there, then uh, the upper sign has more preference is more uh, uh, you, you know, desirable to, to be followed, to be observed. But uh, uh, with the explanation or with the note, which I'm going to tell you, that only within the text of the whole, within the text of uh, the verse, you know, in between a t uh, the text of a verse, not at the end of verse, as I, you know, this, I'm giving you this uh, example. Now, if you try, um, take a longer breath. Maybe you can quicker. And let's see, you can go. Kul a'udhu bi rabbil falaki min sharri ma khalaka wa min sharri ghasikin idha wakaba wa min sharri nafathati fi luqad. Yes, yes, that's it. You see, now this is the forced stop because of the, you know, the Holy Quran should be recited, uh, you know, in easy manner. Okay. Yassiru wala tu'assiru. This is the message of our beloved Master, the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay. And the Sunnah is there. He used to make a pause at the end of each verse. Yes, we, you you are, uh, you, uh, you combined two three, but min shadin nafath ati filokat by you know forced uh, by nature because of the shortage of breath you stopped, okay. So can I ask you, Abdul Manan, if you can? <coughs> قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقِ مِنْ شَرِّ مَا خَلَقَ وَمِنْ شَرِّ غَاسِقٍ إِذَا وَقَبَ وَمِنْ شَرِّ النَّفَّاثَاتِ فِي اللُّقَدِ وَمِنْ شَرِّ حَاسِدٍ إِذَا حَسَدٍ Okay. Um, you may have observed some at the end. It was quite challenging. 
you see and again wa min sharrin nafa here the nasal sound has been compromised because the noon uh, gunna has not been properly uh, comprom uh, you know uh, articulated and uh, observed because you want to do complete hasad and the last verse was quite you know uh, difficult say okay i should complete that one and uh, here when we are out of the natural way you know when there is some sort of a uh, you know you know putting a lot of stress then uh, that is against uh, the tartil okay okay another example here uh, bismillah arrahman arrahim from qul a'udhu bi rabbin nasi up to one nas you try Kul a'udhu bi rabbin nasi malikin nasi ilahin nasi min sharril waswasil khannasi alladhi yuwaswisu fi sudurin nasi <laughs> Okay, so you tried khannasi alladhi, okay continuous about that one and this is this verse is this surah is particularly uh, difficult because there are many noon gunnas a noon gunna took at least two two seconds and two counts um, that so and also ikhfa and many other rules so manan you try qul a'udhu bi rabbin nasi malikin nasi ilahin nasi min sharril waswasil khannasi alladhi yuwaswisu fi sudurin nasi min aljinnati wan nas okay maybe after a lot of practice a person can you know do this one but uh, for the you know the holy quran for for everyone for the young and old okay so uh, always go for within the rules applying the rules observing the rules go for easy option and this is not an easy option you start from bismillah rahman rahim qul up to one nas you know just observing the la so la sign should be observed during in between the text of a verse but not at the end of verse as as mentioned this is against you know then uh, the sunnah of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is uh, top of that it should be in practice okay so this is the conclusion of uh, lesson uh, 47 tamat bil khair kana allah ma'akum assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ورتل القرآن ترتيلاً